Experiment 5, pH titration of acetic acid with sodium carbonate. Calculation of the concentration of the unknown acid. I've got a summary of the results I've gotten from this and previous labs uh, right down here. I know from Experiment 4 that the solution I made is 0 0.893 molar sodium carbonate. From my graphical determination of the equivalence point, I have determined that I needed 15.10 milliliters of sodium carbonate to get there. And my acetic acid solution, my vinegar that I used, I used uh, 10 uh, amounts of 2 milliliters, which for me each one was 2.01, so that amounts to 20.10 milliliters. Now, uh, at the equivalence point, my moles of acid equals my moles of base. And both of these have ones next to them that are implied, and that's because both of them have ones next to them in the balanced chemical reaction for this process. Now, from there, I will start, because I have my volume and my, my molarity, of my base, I can find my moles of base. I'm gonna convert my milliliters into liters. Then multiply that by the molarity, which is really 0 0.893 moles of sodium carbonate per liter. When I do that, I get 0 0.01348, 43 moles sodium carbonate, and I only have three sig figs. Because I'm limited by my molarity. This moles of sodium carbonate is my moles of base. It is equal to my moles of acid, so now I will write equals this number moles uh, acetic acid. And that's the beauty of the equivalence point, is I can say these two numbers are equal to each other. Now, because I have the moles of acetic acid and I have the volume of acetic acid, I can now find the molarity of the acetic acid by taking moles divided by, volu uh, by uh, volume in liters. So my concentration of acetic acid is going to be moles. divided by liters and if I multiply this out I have my number of moles already in my calculator divided by 0 0.02010 I get 0 0.67086 molarity acetic acid as my result.